hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how i made these beautiful box braids with corn rolls in the front for this big guy right here <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is you make the parts from the back it's going to be medium sized not too big not too small from the parts to the braids so i'm taking my time to make sure the parts are straight i also use the shine and jam to create the crisp looking part right there so i'm just going to braid this first line all through from the right to the left and do so for the second part so if this is your first time on this channel you're most welcome my name is queen and i do makeup and hair styling i post makeup videos every mondays and hair videos on fridays so sometimes i also like to post videos about myself you know random stuff lifestyle vlog or anything i just started my channel recently but you know we're growing <laughs> so yeah that's the second part right there from the top of his ear yeah I'm just going to do that and make sure it's crisp and clean braid that up to the end of that then the next thing I'm going to do I think I made like um, one two three four like four rolls of cone rolls before making the box braid four or five rows i'm not sure but yeah you can count that for yourself while you watch what i do here is just being creative so i'm just going to part the front where i'm going to make the corn rolls because it's not complete like i said earlier I'm just going to pat that from back of one ear to the back of the other ear and it looks like that so I braided it down just to keep it in place and then I'll go ahead and finish the other single braids from the back up to the point where you have the the large um, section in front so I'm just going to speed that up quickly and show you straight how I did my cone rolls but before I do that guys please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a beautiful comment down below in the comment section if you have any questions do well to leave it down in the comment section too so here you see that the corn rolls up oh, sorry you see that the single braids are all done looking very clean very clean parts and really gorgeous so this is me taking out the large braid I did in front to you know start with my parts so the first thing you want to do is to like create a middle a midpoint for your sectioning so you don't have except if of course the kind of pattern you want to do or the style doesn't warrant that but if you look from the pictures and um, the finished style of the hair you see that I really needed uh, a center part straight down to the back before I make the sides each of the sides so turned from this way so the first braid usually is not as big as the rest of the braids because the side of your hair close to your ears that portion of your head is smaller the amount of hair there is usually smaller and you know it just that explains everything so the first braid is usually um, thin enough to be able to blend well with the rest of the braids not that the rest have to be that big so I'm just going to quickly do that and show you each of the the parts as I go on 
You just have to be very careful and intentional about how you part it. If no, you're going to miss this the pattern. If you see the middle, it's kind of slanting towards when it's going towards the middle. So I'm just going to spin the chair around and do the same for the other side. Oof. So as you can see, this is almost done. We are just about done the lighting wasn't really clear so i had to cut out the other portion and since you saw the other place it's basically just the same thing at on the left also so this is it i will speed this up really quickly so that we're done but please don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up to this video and leave a beautiful comment down below so I'm going to apply the hair mousse from Herbal Essence that is what I usually like to use or from Dove they have really nice smells feels very hydrating moisturizes the head and again has oils in it so it doesn't leave your scalp really dry but I still like to apply extra oil and i like to use the olive miracle it's in a green bottle after applying the oils i just run my fingers through to make sure it touches um, the scalp you know to massage it in for a bit so the scalp absorbs it to prevent dryness flakiness and all of that bad stuff So I uh, put this durag on him, durag on him. Then I just run through with a blow dryer to further dry up the mousse on his scalp, and this beauty is formed. Mm -hmm. 